I am John Miller. Let me introduce you to the one and only self-playing Robo Xylophone. I simply press the red button and voila. Creating the Robo Xylophone required designing three parts. The mechanical system, the electronics, and the software. First, the mechanics. At the center is a 25 note bell set. Each note is played by a mallet made out of tinker toys. Each mallet is activated by its own solenoid. This is how a solenoid works. When the switch is closed, electrical current runs through the coils of the solenoid. The current creates the magnetic field pulling the center core down. When the attached mallet strikes the key, you hear the note. On the xylophone, it's like this. Next, the electronics. Controlling the entire mechanical assembly is a basic stamp microcontroller, 2P40. The 32 I.O. pins are enough for each of the 25 notes, plus push buttons and LCD display. Each solenoid requires a separate transistor because the microcontroller itself cannot provide enough power. Communication with a PC is done via the serial port, right here. When the I.O. pin is activated, a small amount of electrical current flows through the base emitter path of the transistor. This causes the transistor to act as a switch, turning on and letting a large amount of current flow through the collector emitter path, enough to activate the solenoid. Finally, the software. Controlling the activations and timings of the solenoids is a microcontroller program written in PBASIC. The program reads a series of data bytes stored in memory, each of which corresponds to a command to strike or release a mallet or to pause a certain length of time. However, it would be extremely tedious for me to program every single note into the stamp microcontroller. My solution was writing a Windows program that can convert a MIDI file that I find on the internet into the series of data bytes name any song for any occasion, and I can convert it to play on the xylophone. Using the LCD display and the up and the down arrows, I can choose from the list of songs in memory. In honor of America's national pastime, let's listen to Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Thank you for listening to me, and have a wonderful day.